Question number 4. Diagram 2 shows the curves of quadratic function at fx and gx intersect the x-axis at two same points. Okay, so find the value of k. So k is here. Okay, so to find the value of k, we can use any coordinate on this graph. So since we have got this, we're going to use this. So the coordinate of this is 0, 5. So question A, we are going to substitute into the equation. So 5 equals to 0 minus 3 square plus k. So 5 equals to 9 plus k. So k is equals to 5 minus 9, negative 4. Okay, so the equation is, the fx equation is going to be x minus 3 square minus 4. Okay, I just want to write this so that we can use it later. Okay, next, find the value of m. So m is here, is on the gx. So same thing, we are going to find one of the points. Okay, we can use these two points so that we can use to find the uh, value of m okay so we can find this how we can find this by using this equation okay so these are the x intercept so y is equal to zero so that means okay wait question b1 so we know that this equation equals to zero the fx equals to zero okay so we know that x minus 3 square minus 4 equals to 0. So x minus 3 equals to, um, you bring 4 here and then square root 4. So you got two answers. Huh? First is x minus 3 equals to 2. One more is x minus 3 equals to negative 2. Okay, square root, you got plus minus. So x is equals to 5 and also x is equals to 1. So this one is going to be 1. This is going to be five okay so it's up to you which one you want to use i think we can use one lah. one is seems like it's much easier so we're going to use this coordinate here which is one zero okay so substitute into your gx equation so gx is going to be zero equals to negative three times one plus m minus four times one no need to write there minus 15 okay so 0 equals to negative 3. Okay, what we can do is negative 3, you can combine with the 15, right? So you get negative 3 minus 15, negative 18. So 18 equals to m minus 4. So m is equals to 22. Okay, so you found your uh, m value. So your gx equation is going to be negative 3x plus... Uh, 22 minus 4 is 18. So 18x minus 15. Okay. I just want to write it so that we um, we can use it in case. Okay. So this fx is gx. Alright. Next one. Hence, find the coordinate of the maximum point of gx by using method of completing the square. So they want you to use completing the square to find the uh, maximum point. Okay, so we have got okay, wait, gx equals to negative 3x plus, wait a minute, this is, this is supposed to be square, sorry. My bad, my bad. Made a miss. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that is funny. I think probably here is supposed to be a square. La. I think they write wrongly. Probably supposed to be a square here. Because otherwise, you can combine this, right? Yeah. So, it's supposed to be a square there. Okay, anyway, let's come back. So, negative 3 square plus 18x minus 15. Okay. So, first thing, before we even start solving, we have to make sure the coefficient of x square is 1. So, in this case, we have to factorize the negative 3 out. So, you get x square um, minus 6x and then plus 5 okay once you got this then you can do your completing the square so x square minus 6x plus bracket square minus 
bracket square inside here will be over 2 over 2 then you plus 50 uh, plus 5 okay so what to fill up here this number negative 6 okay so you continue so what you can do is you can factorize this part here you get x so the shortcut is what uh? shortcut is this one bring in here x and whatever is here bring it here so negative 6 over 2 is negative 3 so just put your negative 3 square and then this one will give you negative 3 square is 9 so negative 9 plus 5 so when you expand this again okay when you expand you will get negative 3 x minus 3 square negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4 times negative 3 you get 12 yeah positive 12 okay so what will be your maximum point your maximum point will be maximum point would be 3 and 12 